Sharon Jurd and welcome to my Biz Blitz video. Today I'm asking the question, does telling it like it is make me a mean person? Well, we've all said something that needed to be said and we've sometimes got a negative reaction. Sometimes we get a positive reaction and it's really a dance around should you say it or should you not say it. My answer to you today is no, it doesn't make you a mean person. I think that in your heart, if you need to say what you said, then it needed to be said. And I have had uh, many a times when, you know, people have called me lots and lots of names, um, and I'll stick to mean for this video, but call me mean because I've said it like it is. And I'm in the coaching world, so I coach people a lot of time where they need to hear it from me. And I'm in that environment where they've paid to consult with me and I do not hold back. As the same with my clients, I don't want them holding back either. But just this week, and this is why I'm sharing my video with you, I had two very different um, different outcomes in saying it like it is. Firstly, I had a real positive reaction. And that was where I was speaking with a gentleman and he really needed to, to hear that he needed to step up in a lot of areas in his life. He needed to step up you know, in his relationship. He needed to step up as being a father. He needed to step up in his business. And he really needed to man up and do that, and make some real decisions around what he was going to do in his life and his business. That reaction was positive. He came back to me with a positive outcome. He really took it on board. He made some changes. He's texted me telling me that, you know, he's getting stuck in the stuff. And it was a real positive change in his life. And that's what I love to do all of the time. But in this same week, I've had a, a, a hookup with, you know, another couple who I told them like it is. And, you know, again, um, I didn't hold back as I do with all of my coaching sessions. But in this instance, there was a real negative reaction. And they didn't take it on board. They didn't look within themselves and say, well, look, how can I change myself to make my circumstances better? Because there's all these outside influences that actually you can't control. But the way you do control them is looking within yourself and changing yourself first. And I always have the saying, and this is what I told um, both of these clients of mine, is that, you know, when crap happens in my business, I don't go and finger point and tell people, um, you know, say, well, they're shit, they're shit, that's shit, the environment's shit, the government's shit, the economy's shit. I don't say any of that. I look straight within myself and go, did I manage well enough? Did I look after my team? Did I look after my clients? Did I look after my strategic alliances? Did I nurture all of those relationships? What can I do to make myself better? So when you're out, if you're a coach or you're in a service industry where you're offering advice or even a product, I say to you, say it like it is because you have to be true to yourself and authentic in, in your own beliefs and you will help many, many more people. Don't worry about the people who will have that negative reaction. They're not ready to hear it. They're not ready to get that support from you. Support the people who do have that positive reaction, who are making changes in their life and really focus your energies on that positivity and don't worry about those negative reactions. Stay true to yourself yourself and keep telling it like it is. I'm Sharon Jurd. Thank you for listening today. If you think this video would be of value to your family, friends or colleagues, please share it. I love to reach as many people as I can and I'd love your help to do that. Thank you.